right, you guys. So um, today's theme is active body, calm mind, which I think would probably be the theme of a lot of my classes. Um, I like to keep the body really active in part just because that's um, how I feel good. But then um, it really does calm the mind. I remember sort of early in the pandemic situation where um, I couldn't, I wasn't thinking about anything other than worrying about coronavirus. And then I would have a yoga practice and I would get to the end and go, oh my God, I didn't think about it for an hour. So um, I think that I like to, um, you know, kind of keep the mind active um, or the body active in order to calm the mind. So that's what we'll work on here today. And we will start out by chanting OM together. So um, first, just exhale everything out. Um, you know, we're, oh, sorry, we're in a comfortable seated position. I guess I can start there. And I'm going to sit really tall. And now, go ahead and take a nice big exhale. Big deep inhale. And then we will own together. Um, um, inhale. Um, Do one more. Um, if you're not muted, feel free to mute at this time. Continue with your long, deep breaths. I like to start class with those ohms because it allows us to just come into this space to shift our energy, release anything that we're bringing along with us onto the mat. You can start to come to your ujjayi breath, your yoga breath, creating a constriction in the back of the throat. Knowing that this breath will follow us through practice, keep our mind calm and our body moving. Extend your legs out in front of you. Feet can flex. Make sure you come tall, almost lean forward a little bit to keep the pelvis rocking forward. And we're gonna take a twist. Bring the right knee, right foot up over the left thigh. Hug the knee in first. You can even rock a little bit side to side to start to work into the right hip. And then plant the right foot on the mat. You can continue this grip of the right knee, or you can bring the right, the left elbow to the knee. Right hand comes behind you, gaze over the right shoulder. And keep it light. We don't want to go too deep in this twist. It's the first thing we're doing in this practice. Make sure you can continue your long, deep breaths while you're in this pose. Come back to center, extend the right leg long, bring the left knee in. We can rock side to side. And then continue that grip of the knee or bring the right elbow to the left thigh and gaze over the left shoulder. If you can keep your spine tall, And then come back, release the left leg long, reach for your toes, just get a little bit of a forward fold, release the low back. You don't have to go deep with this, we're not gonna hold it a long time. Just a little release and then we'll come to a tabletop position. Press the palms into the mat, fingers are spread wide. We'll move into cow and cat, so drop the belly, gaze towards the ceiling or the sky. Press the mat away, curl your spine, cow, cat pose. Inhale for cow, and exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, 
and exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Tuck your toes, hover your knees an inch above the mat. Continue through these cow and cat poses. Noticing how that changes the engagement of the core, the press of the palms. Notice even what's happening with the balls of your feet and your toes. Moving with your breath. Take one more round. We're gonna bring the knees back down to the mat. Right hand reaches out long. Left foot reaches back behind you. Left foot is flexed, pointing down towards the mat. Inhale here and then exhale, draw elbow to knee underneath you. Inhale back out long, open to awkward airplane. Right arm hand comes right, left foot comes left. We'll slow this a little bit. Come back out long, elbow to knee. Inhale for length, exhale awkward airplane. Inhale for length, exhale elbow to knee. Inhale back out long, Exhale, awkward airplane. One more round. Reach, curl, reach, awkward airplane. Reach out long, place hand and knee on the mat. We'll take that on the other side. Left hand, left hand reaches, right foot reaches. Hug the belly into the spine, flex the right foot. Inhale here, exhale elbow to knee. Inhale back out long, exhale awkward airplane. Starting to flow, reach out long, curl it in. Reach out long, awkward airplane. Reach out long and curl. Trying to move with the breath, inhale. Exhale, awkward airplane. Inhale for length. Last one, curl it in. Inhale for length. Exhale, awkward airplane. Back out long. Hand and knee on the mat. Let's move into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift the hips high. Take any movement that you like here. Maybe you pedal out your, your feet. Sway your hips side to side. Get a little deeper into the shoulders. Then find stillness, gaze towards the back of the mat. You can take a look at your feet, the space behind you. I can look at all the toys I've knocked out of the way so they're, they can't be seen on Zoom, and yet they are there. Come back to your Ujjayi breath. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Find a ragdoll pose. Feet, heel, toe, hips width apart. Hands come to opposite elbows. Maybe you sway side to side. If you want a little bit more for the neck, you can clasp hands at the low, uh, just at the neck, just at the base of the skull. Provide a little traction for the neck there. I have really tight hamstrings these days, so let's stay one more breath. Hands come down to the mat. Walk yourself out into your high plank pose. Find length and strength here. Press the mat away with the palms. Heels reach towards the space behind you. Gaze is at the top of the mat. Low belly hugs in. Engage your breath. <clears throat> Starting to march a little bit, bring right knee to right elbow, and back. Left knee, left elbow, and back. Right to the right, left to the left. Moving with control, this can be at your pace. Maybe moving with the breath, maybe a little bit faster. Wherever you are, you are in control of it. 
always an option to bring knees to the mat. We'll stay here for five more seconds. Three, two, one. Lower chaturanga push up, press back up high plank, press back downward facing dog. Inhale here and exhale. We're going to take it back out once more. High plank. Let's lower down to the forearms. Keep that length. Keep pressing into the palms and into the elbows. Keep the belly hugging up and in. And we'll start to walk the right foot out, left foot out, right foot in, left foot in. Left out, right out, left in, right in. Take it once more, right out, left out, right in, left in. Step the left foot out, right foot out, left in, right in. Let's come back to tall arms. Option to take that little push up and press back down, we're facing dog. Warming up the core early in practice reminds us to keep it engaged throughout. As you exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise, mountain pose, arms sweep, sweep up overhead. Root down into your feet. Hug the quads in, hug the belly in. Let the shoulders relax as the fingertips reach high. Then press your palms together overhead, creating engagement in the shoulders, and pull that, the hands down to heart center. Keep the palms pressing together. Create that engagement, staying active. Full round of breath here, inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Really elongate the crown of the head forward. Hands to the mat. Step back to high plank. Lower down, chaturanga, elbows, hug in. Stay in control. Flip to the tops of the feet. Roll shoulders back, upward facing. Exhale, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Starting to flow with the breath. Inhale here. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step it back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, moving with the breath, inhale. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take it through two more times at the pace of your own breath. Meeting back in a downward facing dog. Take a few rounds of deep breath here. 
With your next inhale, gaze to the top of the mat, bend your knees, bring your weight into your palms. Maybe the feet float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink the hips, arms reach high. Reach the hips back in space, come onto the uh, weight comes into the heel. Lift your belly up and in, crown of the head comes long, fingertips are reaching. Sink the hips a little lower. This is our only chair pose of the practice, you guys, so we're going to make it count. We're going to start to flow to drinking bird. So airplane the arms back behind you, lift the heels coming down to the balls of the feet. Keep your belly hogging up and in to provide support. Then release heels down, reach up chair pose, starting to flow with the breath. Inhale here. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, chair. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, drinking bird. We're going to keep going. Inhale to chair. Exhale to drinking bird. Inhale to chair. Exhale to drinking bird. And that's it. Chair pose once more. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, chaturanga. Up dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift the right leg high. Toes point down to the mat. Flex the right foot. Pull it to the space behind you. Palms press the mat away. Maybe the left heel comes a little closer to the mat. Draw knee to chest. Hover and hold. Gaze is out long towards the top of your mat. Hold here, make sure you breathe. Moving with control on an inhale, right leg reaches back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, back out. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, back out. Step the right foot between the hands, come up, warrior one. Take any adjustments you need to the hips as they work to pivot towards the left side of the mat or a little bit towards the front of the stage. Right shoulder moves back, left shoulder forward to square the shoulders. Lift your front toes up off the mat to really find grounding in the foot and then come deeper into the right knee. Option to bring palms together overhead. If your palms are touching, press them into one another, creating that shoulder engagement. One more breath here. Hands to the mat. Step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog, left leg lifts high. Finding length from fingertips to the left heel, left foot is flexed. Draw knee to chest, hover and hold. Bring the left leg back out long. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale, back out. Left knee, right elbow. Inhale, back out. Step through between your hands, warrior one. Notice how this side feels different from the other. Work towards shifting the hips. Find grounding in both feet. Maybe you try that lift the front toes. Get really rooted into the feet. Deeper into the left knee. Option to press palms together overhead. Then hands plant on the mat. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're going to add on, and we will flow a little later. So inhale the right leg back. We're going to step it right through between the hands. Come up, warrior one. Airplane the arms. Hover over the front knee. Pause here. Gaze out a little bit further in front of you. 
Pull shoulder blades together. Belly hugs up and in. Come back up to warrior one. Frame the front foot, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts on the inhale. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms, hover. Shoulder blades reach together, gaze is long. Create one long line from the outside edge of the right foot to the crown of the head. Come back up, warrior one. Hands to the mat, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Continuing to add on, right leg lifts. Step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Big transition, open to warrior two. Open the hips. Adjust your feet. Stay rooted in the outside edges of the feet. Work the right knee towards the outside edge of the right foot. Come a little taller to the crown of the head and an inch deeper in the knee. Keep a deep bend in the right knee as you reverse your warrior. Flip the right palm over. Reach high and long overhead. Then cartwheel, hands to the mat. Step the right foot back. Maybe it floats as you lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts on the inhale. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms. Open all the way up, warrior two. Find grounding. Notice if the hips feel different from side to side. Pull fingertips in opposite directions and then pull your shoulder blades together behind you. Gaze is strong over the left middle finger. And then you can think about what you want to do with that middle finger. Just kidding. Think a little deeper in the left knee. And then reverse your warrior. Left arm sweeps up and back. Cartwheel, hands to the mat, step the left foot back, maybe it floats, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we flow one breath per movement. On an inhale, lift the right leg back. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, warrior two. Oh, I forgot this one. We're going to exhale, extended side angle. We're not flowing quite yet. Keep that deep bend in the right knee. Engage your core so that you could lift the right arm up off the, off the knee if you wanted to. And if you want to, you could reach it into the space in front of you. And reverse your warrior. Hands to the mat. Step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg lifts on the inhale. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, warrior two. Extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaches. Stay grounded through the feet. Option to lift the left arm and reach it forward. Deep bend stays in the left knee if you reverse your warrior. And then cartwheel hands to the mat. Take your flow. Meeting back and downward facing dog. 
Now we flow one breath for movement. We're all there. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Going through one more time, right leg lifts. Step it through. Warrior one. Airplane arms. Warrior two. Extended side angle. Reverse the warrior. Chaturanga. Always the option to press right back into down dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Step it through. Warrior one. Airplane arms. Warrior two. Extended side angle. Reverse the warrior. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Time to connect to the breath. To come back into control. If you want to take a child's pose or get a drink, take a moment to breathe. We'll meet back in a downward facing dog. Once you arrive, take a full round of breath. And we're not gonna add on at this point. We'll do a little something different and then we'll combine the two. So on an inhale, lift the right leg back. Step through between your hands. Come up to crescent lunge. Maybe you wanna make your stance a little wider for balance, or maybe a little bit longer so you can get deeper in the right knee. Lift the toes of the right foot, finding grounding through the foot. Press into the heel of the back foot. And notice if your jaw is clenched or your shoulders tight and let them release. We'll start this to shift the weight to the right foot. We're going to come to a one-legged mountain. Left knee comes in, right left foot is flexed. Arms reaching high. Hug low belly up and in. Find a focal point. Find your balance. Then start to reach the arms forward, leg back. Find a warrior three. Engage the breath. Left foot is flexed. See if you can point the toes down towards the mat. Bend the right knee. Step the left toes back. 
press at lunge. Find your breath, find your grounding, and then we're gonna go back the other way. So from this present lunge, moving in to a warrior three, moving with control. We were just here, so maybe it feels like a continuation, or maybe a little easier. This is my balance, and then coming into a one-legged mountain. Arms still reaching tall, but if the shoulders are getting tired, feel free to bring hands up center. Then slow and with control, step the left foot back, press the lunge. Frame the front foot, step the right foot back, take your flow, or push back to downward facing dog. On an inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, step through crescent lunge. Notice if the side, side feels different from the other. Take any adjustments. I know my hip flex is tighter on this side. Find grounding through the feet. Maybe the right knee works towards straight. Come a little deeper in the left knee. And then we'll launch up with control into that one-legged mountain. Bring the right knee in towards the chest, right foot is flat. Again, shoulders may be getting tired here. If they want to come to heart center, if you can't heart center, feel free. Reach the right foot back, find your warrior three. Pause the belly in. Flex the right foot. Reach long to keep you lifted and balanced. Then the left knee, reach the right toes back, press the lunge. Take a little shoulder break, hands come to heart center. Give you the shoulders roll back. Make sure they stay relaxed, even though you're holding them up. So let them come up to your ears and feel super tight. We're gonna reverse it. One-legged mount, or no, sorry, <laughs> warrior three. Then one leg and out. Moving with control, bring the right toes to the back of the mat, press it lunge. Frame the front foot, step it back, take your flow, or press back to downward facing dog. We will start to flow that one breath per movement. On an inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, press the lunge. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, press the lunge. Coming back, inhale, warrior three. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Oh, it's jiggling, wiggly. Press and lunge. Exhale, frame the front foot, step back, take your flow. Press back, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, back to crescent. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Inhale, crescent lunge, moving with control. Exhale, hands to the mat, take your flow. Downward facing dog. We are now going to combine our two flows with a little segue in the middle. On an inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. 
moving into half moon. Right hand to the outside, right edge of the mat, mat left foot lifts. Flex the left foot. Feel as though you're being pulled in all directions. Bring the left hand down, left leg stays lifted, taking a standing split. You walk your hands a little closer to the right foot so the left heel can lift a little more. We'll take a couple of squats. Bend the right knee, left knee comes behind it. Inhale all the way back out. Exhale, lower. Inhale, length. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back up. Bend the right knee, step the left toes back. Come up, crescent lunge. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Inhale, warrior three. Bring the toes down, crescent lunge. Back to warrior three. One-legged mountain. Crescent lunge. Frame the front foot, this time straighten the right knee, finding this long pyramid pose. I like to stay lifted on the ball of the left heel and then come down, fold over the right shin. Then bend into the right knee, plant the hands, step back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's try it on the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, half moon pose. Right leg lifting high. See if you can reach the right hand to the space behind you to really open the right shoulder. Right foot is flexed, heel pushing towards the back of the mat. Bring the right hand down, standing splits. You can walk your hands closer to the left foot. Maybe the right foot comes a little higher. We'll take those squats, bend into the left knee, bring the right behind it, and inhale all the way back out. Exhale, squat. Inhale, back out long. Exhale, lower. Inhale for length. Bring the right toes to the mat behind you. Find your crescent lunge. One-legged mountain to warrior three. Crescent lunge and will reverse. Warrior three, moving with control. One-legged mountain. Right toes reach back, crescent lunge. Frame your front foot, stay on the ball of the right foot, straighten the left knee, find this long pyramid pose. Release down to the left shin. Bend into the left knee, plant your hands, step back, take your flow. Or push back down. We're facing dog. We're going to flow through one more time. Inhale here and we'll exhale it out. Inhale the right leg back. Exhale, step through between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon pose. 
We won't stay too long, just enough to visit the pose and then close it down, standing splits. Inhale here, exhale squat. We'll do it just once. Inhale back out, exhale crescent lunge. Reach arms high, one-legged mountain. Warrior three, crescent lunge. Back to three, one-legged mountain. Crescent lunge, frame the front foot, straighten the front knee, fold over. This time keep the left hand planted, reach the right arm high. It's this long revolved triangle, still high on the ball of the left foot. And bring the right hand down to the mat. Frame your front foot, step back, take your flow or push back to downward facing dog. Last time through, inhale, left leg back. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon pose. Pause here just long enough to feel this pose. Release the right hand down to the mat, standing splits. One, squat, lower, lift back out. Right toes plant on the mat. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, crescent lunge. Inhale, back to three. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, straighten the front knee, find that long pyramid pose. Then plant the right hand, left arm lifts. Revolve triangle, but still lifted on the ball of the right foot. Bring the right hand, the left hand down. Step it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Knees come wide on the mat. Hips sink back. Find a child's pose. <clears throat> if your Ujjayi breath escaped you, come back to it here. We'll meet back in a downward facing dog. From down dog on an inhale, gaze to the top of the mat, travel feet to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise mountain pose. Bring your feet a little bit wider than hips width apart. Inhale here. We're going to lower down to a squat, but we're going to come back up. So don't go all the way down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. This time we are going to stay all the way down in our Malasana or Yogi squat. So you might want to come a little closer together. Hips sink down, elbows can meet the knees, palms press together. Bring your right hand to your heart, bring your left arm up for a twist. Come back to center, left hand to the heart, right arm open for the twist. 
come back to center, lift the heels, coming just onto your toes, and we're gonna move slowly and with control. It'll be shaky all the way up to standing. Lower the heels, sweep the arms up high. Sink back down, Malasana. We're gonna come into an arm balance. We can come to crow pose. If you have something that's different that you would like to find today, bring your palms to the mat a little bit wider than um, shoulders width apart, palms, um, fingers spread wide. Bring your knees to meet your upper arms as you bend the elbows and make a shelf there. Reach the crown of the head forward, gazing out in front of you until maybe the feet lift up off the mat. If you'd prefer a firefly or a side crow or you're craving something different, please feel free to play with that now and play as long as you'd like. There is always benefit to bringing weight into the hands, even if the feet never leave the ground. We will meet back in a child's pose whenever you're ready, but play as long as you'd like. From your child's pose, move into a downward facing dog. Come forward to high plank, pause here. Remember how fired up our core was at the beginning of class and how it helped us stay controlled throughout all of the active movements that our body was taking through that flow. Hug the belly in, make it feel long and strong. And come forward a couple inches and nice and slow. Move all the way down onto the mat. Once you're there, chin stays where it is. Flip to the tops of the feet, arms reach back. We'll find a locust pose. I encourage you to lift the upper body first. Keep the feet on the mat, pressing strong into the mat. Notice the engagement of the abdominal muscles here, and then start to lift the feet up off. If you'd like to move with this a little bit, arms can reach forward to superhero, and then back to Logan. Forward, and back. Moving with the breath or at your pace, as long as it's within your control. And then release it down, right cheek comes to the mat. Feel the breath into the mat, feel the heartbeat into the mat. And we'll take one more back bend, spine strengthener. If you like either of the options we just did, feel free to go there. Otherwise, bend the knees will come to bow pose. Hold on to the feet or the ankles and press the feet or the ankles towards the back of your mat. I'll lift you up. Opening the shoulder. Use your breath to rock you back and forth. And release down. Windshield wiper knees side to side. And from here, we'll just flip onto our backs. Actually, not onto our backs, to a seated position first. We gotta do our minute of boat. Don't think I forgot. You know, we've been, if you've been practicing with me, I've been working on holding boat for a minute. So let's go ahead and sit back on the hips. Hands can hold on to the thighs. They can reach out in front of you. Heart center, arms overhead, wherever you'd like to be. Start to slow your breath. Start to focus on the breath really long and really slow. Calms the nervous system. Gaze out at your toes. 
or beyond. Stay with the breath, you can do this. We'll be here for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Release it down on the mat. Hug the knees in. You can roll side to side. And hug your knees into your chest. Let's find a happy baby. Knees come wide. You can hold on to the soles of your feet. Maybe give yourself a little foot massage. If you like a little hamstring stretch, you can straighten one leg and then the other. Bring feet flat on the mat. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. Hug the left knee in towards your chest. Take a little reclined pigeon. Flex your right foot and pull the right foot towards the left side of the mat, deepening that stretch. Bring the left foot down to the mat. Keep that cross of the ankle. And then let the right foot plant on the left side of the mat. So you have that same shape. And then you can close it, taking a twisted root, or you can press the right knee towards the bottom of your mat. I feel a lot of opening in my hip that way. You know, everybody's hips are different. You can gaze over the right shoulder if you'd like. Come back up to center, uncross the feet, cross the left ankle over the right knee, hug that in towards your chest. Flex the left foot, move it over a little bit towards the left or the right side of space. And notice how that deepens the stretch through the left hip. Or maybe I just have the world's tightest hips. One of the two. Bring the right foot down to the mat, keep the cross, and then let the left foot plant on the right side of the mat. You can take it all the way to twisted root or press the left knee towards the bottom of the mat. You can come over the left shoulder. Come back to center, we'll find an inversion. You can come to candlestick, feet are flexed, pressing towards the ceiling or the sky, making an L shape with the body. Hands or a block or a pillow can come underneath your low back for support. If you like a shoulder stand, you can go ahead and lift up. Supporting the low back with your hands. And wherever you are, play with the angle of your legs until you notice them becoming light. That's the benefit of this pose as the blood rushes back to the heart. Notice the legs becoming light. So I know that these cooling poses in practice are when the mind starts to wander again. So we used our active body to calm our mind. When we're in these poses, we have to use the breath to keep us there. Focusing on the breath, inhales and exhales, to keep us present and keep the mind calm. 
can even think to yourself, I am breathing in. I am breathing out. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. As much as we think we are good multitaskers, we actually are not so good at it. And focusing there on one thing can calm the rest of it for us. If you're in a shoulder stand and would like to come out through plow, you can drop the feet towards the top of the mat above your head and then slowly roll out onto the mat. If you're in a candlestick pose, bend your knees, bring them down to the mat. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees come wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. <clears throat> If you'd like a little something more, you can keep the feet in this position, but press down into the feet to lift the hips. So you're almost in a bridge pose, but with the legs of this reclined butterfly pose, I think it's a really nice open um, opener for the front of the hips. Just an option. And you can stay in this Supta Baddha Konasana for our resting pose, Shavasana, where you can release legs long on the mat. If you have a wall nearby and would like to take legs up the wall, that can be sort of like candlestick position, but with the legs up, can be a very nice cooling rest, way to rest. Alternatively, feel free to come up to a seated position. Close the eyes closed. Let the breath go. Wherever your mind has wandered, bring it back to this space. Take a big, deep breath. Reach arms up overhead. Take a full body stretch. And if you are lying on the mat, come on to one side. Send yourself gratitude for being here today. For active, being active in body and calm in mind. We'll come to a seated position when you're ready. And we'll close by chanting OM one last time together. So inhale deeply. Om. Bring hands to heart center. Thank you for choosing yoga and sharing it with me. Hands to third eye center, bowing forward. Namaste.